Roswell Flight Test Crew here in Shenzhen, China to visit the Micro Multicopter Factory. Let's go take a look at what they got inside. Virtually unknown in the United States, MMC is nevertheless a major drone manufacturer in China, serving both the domestic market as well as customers across Asia with large, robust platforms intended primarily for public safety and industrial users. The factory is a four-story building with an adjacent courtyard for testing drones, located in what's called the suburban area of Shenzhen. The company also has offices in a high-rise building in the city's downtown core and employs about 250 people altogether. MMC is doing pioneering work, including a drone powered by a hydrogen fuel cell capable of flying for more than three hours. You'll be seeing more about that in future videos. Their drones also feature innovative, interchangeable payloads with a quick release system. But first, I met the company's chief designer, Mr. Deng, who leads a team of engineers developing the company's products. He gave me a tour of the facility. MMC produces their own components on site, including carbon fiber airframes. For their size, I found them to be extremely lightweight. Mr. Deng told me that owing to the materials used, even their battery-powered models are capable of approaching a one-hour flight time. The company also hand-winds its own motors, which are tested individually before being sent upstairs for assembly into finished aircraft. I didn't expect to see this guy here. <laughs> In addition to manufacturing and design, the building also has offices for research and development teams, as well as a flight school for commercial drone pilots. The process is considerably more rigorous than it is in the United States. Students complete three weeks of training that include book learning, simulator time, and flying live aircraft. Then, they take a government-administered test, which requires them to demonstrate both academic and hands-on flying skills. I got the chance to be a Chinese drone pilot myself in MMC's rooftop flying cage. The cage also includes facilities for testing the performance of the company's weatherproof designs, including a large fan and a sprinkler system to simulate rain. In the courtyard, I had the opportunity to take a close-up look at the company's payload system. The different payloads just snap into place on the bottom of the aircraft and they can be changed in seconds. These include cameras with real-time video downlinks, but also some more exotic systems such as an intelligent drop mechanism and a flying spotlight. My favorite was the aerial loudspeaker, which could have applications across a variety of fields, including search and rescue and law enforcement. This is the Roswell Flight Test Crew. Come out with your hands up. In a smart choice, MMC includes a small tilt camera as part of each of their payloads that isn't itself a camera. I suggested that they include a small, low-cost thermal imaging camera like a FLIR Lepton to improve nighttime performance and overall situational awareness. Here at the Roswell Flight Test Crew, we'll be bringing some of these aircraft back to the United States for further testing, so be sure to subscribe so you can get a closer look at how they work. So that was our visit to the Micro Multicopter Factory in Shenzhen, China. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe!